Howdy folks, today <clears throat> I had an unexpected package turn up and uh, I was thinking I haven't ordered anything uh, I opened it up and it turns out it's from Airfix They sent me the new 148 scale De, ha De Havilland Tiger Moth um, I knew this was due out but I didn't realise it was out already so well, so soon um, So yeah, a nice touch So let's take a look what we get in the box Right, you're greeted with a nice box art of one of the Tiger Moths with um, some, it looks like a kind of racing stripe scheme I'm not 100% sure if, if, if that is but <clears throat> it's a nice scheme, you do get two options, you get this one and you get a silver, just plain old silver one um, There's the uh, item number A04104 um, a little bit of history on the Tiger Moth. There's a trainer aircraft, 1930s. Um, and so there's two schemes. The paints are done by Umbral. Skill level 2. Don't really pay attention. As I say, I've never looked inside this box because it's only just arrived, which I didn't even know I was getting. Thank you, for, thank you Airfix. Yeah, we cut open the box and see what we get. So typical of Airfix, top opening box. Come on, get in there. Just pause this. Right. Typical of Airfix, all stuff in one bag. I do know this is a brand new tooling. So it's not an uh, old kit or anything, so it's brand new tooling for uh, 2020. Um... These are nice decals. They're printed by. Doesn't say, but hopefully they're cartograph. Um, so hopefully they'd be nice. Um, these stripes are on the side of the aircraft. I'll probably paint them on. These squares possibly paint them on. Um, we shall see. Um, we don't have to do these. There is plenty of aftermarket decals out there and schemes and colours. Tiger Moth there's quite a few tiger moths flying around so it's not exactly a uh, scarce aircraft um, we're greeted with a nice manual so your first step your typical of their new 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 manual from airfix the red parts are your um, next step, no sorry, previous step, so anything in red is what you've done previously, anything in grey is what you're currently working on. So you're working on the cockpit, put your seat in, no doubt there's probably aftermarket out for this, seat belts and stuff, um, whatever. Looks like your instrument dash, uh, two flight sticks, remember it is a trainer so you're going to get two seats as well. Um, put in your basic cockpit in, into the fuselage half, don't forget to paint it which is probably the grey, green colour, the RF interior green a um, little bit of basic engine detail by looks of things instrument panels uh, the two side doors, if you're having them open you're going to have to cut them out and then stick them to the side of the airplane a little bit of engine detail again here I think it's the oil pan section cutting out the holes if you're putting it on a stand sandwiching the two fuselage halves together again we're working on more engine detail exhaust manifolds structural framing for the engine um, the engine cover more engine detail the front nose engine covers Top, um, left and right. Yeah, you can have the engine cover open to show the engine, which is a nice touch. You can so you can display it on the ground. That's actually a really nice touch. I do like that. Having the engine cover open. Back of the aircraft, which is the uh, uh, tail flaps. If I'm not mistaken, if that's where the wheel goes. No. No, it's not. 
I'm not sure what that is actually. I think that that's the back of the aircraft somewhere. I'm not quite sure what that is. Your tail going on uh, and all the structural parts. We've got your upper wing, no sorry, that's the lower wing going on. And then you've got your support struts, making sure they're square and straight. Upper wing, fuel tank and struts, putting it all together. You might want to leave this off if you're especially doing the decals and stuff. Um, and then putting, then putting it back on. Um, and it might be easier for the rigging as well, I'm not sure. You've got some um, the actuators for the uh, flaps. The landing gear is a uh, fixed landing gear, which is always in the down position. Um, your landing gear again, putting your wheels on, propeller. There's two types in the kit. A little bit of windshield and cushions. Again, you've got your doors, which come inside the kit as well. Um, so why are they talking about the engine flaps when it was on the other page? I don't know. I'm getting confused now. You go back here and they're saying about the engine flap and then you go on here and they've got the engine flap again. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, a little bit of rigging goes under the aircraft. There's some rigging at the back underneath the fuel tank rigging that goes to the back back of the aircraft for the uh, aileron and flaps and your main rigging for the wings shouldn't be too difficult hopefully um, I have one colour scheme, which is the uh, red and silver, what looks like a racing version to me. Um, finished in colours of the Royal Air Force. Flights <coughs> Aerobatic Training School, that's what that is. Um, actually quite a recent one, it's uh, Bedford, Bedfordshire, England, 19... Uh, 2008 so it must be a uh, recent rebuild or something and new new scheme and we've got this one here from Kent England to 2008 so this is must be a, a new aircraft as well a rebuild or something this is in silver with the yellow stripes me I paint the yellow stripes on a bit plain and boring me personally but I like the, uh, I do like this red one, I might, might do this red one. So there's the decals again, this is another quick look. Nicely in colour and register. If I'm going to do those red and white stripes I'm definitely going to paint them on, I think it will look better. So we get one giant bag. We are greeted with three sprues and a little bit clear. So not a lot in this kit. So there's your fuel tank with the nice grate. Looks like um, Colgate sheet metal they made it out of, kind of. You've got your wing supports, engine detail, wing supports, fine detail, cushion, one of the propellers, fine detail. There's that piece at the back of the tail, landing gear, 
cockpit floor is one of the seats the other seat basic instrument panel did those decals for the instrument panel there is no dials oh yes there is up the top there is some dials so you you put the dials on and so yeah there's some wheels tiny wheels it's going to be a quite a small aircraft upper and lower wings again it's got a nice texture to it looks like fabric um a little bit of skill on the painting to make it look like fabric i'm not sure how you do that but your fuel tank sits here there's the other propeller it's quite thick plastic I'm not sure if it's that typical plastic they use but it seems seems really good these wings are all molded as one piece so no nasty seam lines or sandwiching together it's got a nice curvature to it we have the fuselage halves which nice interior detail a little bit of engine on the outside there's the outside of the uh, aircraft again it's not going to be covered in rivets because it's, it's a fabric aircraft you have your wing at the back and flaps again it's molded as one piece so and you have this one as well you have two types uh upper upper wing was it uh the stabilizer is it stabilizer i think it is um the front nose cone engine covers and cowling so yeah nicely that's pretty good we have a tiny little bit of clear in here this is the two windshields tiny windshields um, there isn't really much of a mask for this so um, you have to be careful how you do it so there you go guys a brand new kit from Airfix 148 scale the Haviland Tiger Moth just been released um 2020 which i didn't realize i was getting until about half an hour ago thank you airfix like comment subscribe and i catch you ladies